In this exercise, we will learn the clone stamp tool. Basically, the clone stamp tool is used to duplicate subjects from one part of an image to another part of an image. Or we can also use this tool to remove anything in the image. Okay, let's see how this tool will work. If I click on this tool, or when we right click on this tool, we can find the S shortcut key. Okay, I have selected this tool and let's make a new layer on it from here. I always recommend making a new layer so we don't make any mistakes on the original layer. And this is a safe area to preserve our original image. Okay, if I press the Alt key and we pick a sample from here and paint on this area, something like that, we can see we have duplicated the subject very nicely. Okay, let's undo that. If we want to remove the subject and then take a sample from any area and paint on it, something like this, we can see how perfectly this tool is working. Okay, now let's see some of the above control options. Here we can change brush size and hardness of the brush. Next, in this one, we have advanced settings. Next, we have clone source. Here, we can see the show overlay option. If I check this mark off and take a sample, we cannot see the overlay. And if I check this mark on, then we can see the overlay effect. Okay, next, we have different modes, but normal will be perfect. And next, we can change the opacity to low. Okay, next, the flow option. If I make it low and then try it, something like that. We can see it duplicates slowly and appears more nominant. Okay, next, we have the airbrush tool. You can just try something like this. Just click and hold and it will appear slowly. Next, we have the align tool. If we check this mark on and try something like that, we can see it is moving where I paint, something like that. If I check this mark off, then we can see it is just taking a sample where I click, something like that. Next, we have current layer, current and below layer, and all layer option. If we are working on an original layer, then choose current. If we are working on a new layer and taking a sample from beneath the new layer, then choose current and below. And if we are taking a sample from many layers or any one or two layers, we can choose the all layer option. Okay, next we have the adjustment layer option and it is just about taking a sample from the adjustment layer. And next, we have the pen pressure option. If we are using a tablet, then we can choose this option. Okay, in the next exercise, we will learn the pattern stamp tool.